So what is S3 lifecycle management? So in essence, once we have an object inside our S3 bucket, and basically uh, we can set rules in order for us to move it from different classes within S3. So for example, once we upload an object and we can set a rule, uh, basically it's gonna go direct to the S3 standard. And after 30 days, if, any, uh, uh, if we're not using that uh, object at all, we can move it to S3 infrequent access. And after 60 days, if we're not also using that object at all, we can move it from basically uh, S3 infrequent access to Glacier. So in essence, it's a way for us to actually optimize our costs uh, within uh, S3 or the AWS in order for us so we don't have to pay a lot of money because S3 standard is the most expensive one and S3 Glacier is the most cheaper one. And basically there's a different ways we can set up those rules, we can set it on number of days, we can set on activities and we can set up basically any way we want it. So in essence, this is basically the lifecycle management within uh, for an object within an S3 bucket.